bitch on, we got bulletproof glass now. Bitch, I turned off, I feel like I want a Grammy. I'm speaking Guapanese, I know he can't understand. Well, well, well. Atomic makes another Nintendo Switch Pro video. Who would have thought? Now, honestly, I wasn't planning on covering this kind of video again for probably another three to four years based on the information that we learned in our last video with how they pretty much confirmed that there's not going to be a new Nintendo Switch anytime soon and that the current Nintendo Switch is halfway through its life cycle. I was just pretty much thinking, eh, it's chalk. It doesn't matter. I mean, it makes sense, right? The current Nintendo Switch is selling very well. Everything about that system is going great. They've got amazing games. There's no reason for Nintendo to rush out a Nintendo Switch Pro, especially with the recent drops of the PS5, the Xbox Series X. I was pretty happy with it. I was done with it. But here we are. Yesterday, there were so many new news articles. My DMs are blowing up on Twitter. Everybody asking me to cover the new news on the release of the brand new Nintendo Switch Pro. So here we have it. On the screen, I'm going to be reading off of and referencing the IGN article on this. There's a whole bunch of different articles if you guys want to have a look for yourself and dig deeper into the news of the Nintendo Switch Pro. But pretty much, as you can see here, we are going to be getting a larger screen and a 4K display. 4K OLED, I think Samsung OLED display for the Nintendo Switch Pro. So, as you can see here in the article... The new display right here will have will be 7 inches, 720p resolution OLED, and it could start as early as June of this year, which is awesome. They're saying that the reason why they want to release this and get it out is in hopes of increasing the demand of that brand new Switch before the holiday seasons. I mean, that makes sense. Wait till after a year of the Xbox Series X and the PS5, get out that brand new Nintendo Switch. Makes perfect sense, especially with the release of all those brand new games that they announced earlier this year on the Nintendo Switch. Um, yeah, definitely not gonna remember the name of that event. The Nintendo Switch Direct, all of that makes sense. We're getting that brand new Splatoon. I mean, everybody's excited about plans for his zombies. Apex Legends is coming out here in about five days as well. I've been waiting for that to drop so I can start pumping out some insane content. I still play Fortnite casually, but I'm looking for that game to grind, and I think it's gonna be Apex before Splatoon 3 comes out. But either way, all of that makes perfect sense. So I'm hoping that we get new information on this before the summer. That would be nice. And I'm thinking the device probably ends up dropping if it does drop this year. Somewhere around September, October. Similar to the Nintendo Switch Lite when it first came out as well. So the current Nintendo Switch has a 6.2 inch screen. It's also got the same 720p resolution screen time. And according to Yoshio Tamura, the OLED panel will consume less battery, offer higher contrast, and possibly faster response time when compared to the current Nintendo Switch's liquid crystal display. All great news. Once again, we don't know if there's going to be any significant hardware upgrades. I would love to see it. I would love to hop on Apex Legends on the Switch and somehow have an insanely consistent 60 FPS. Maybe even a 120 FPS. Definitely kidding myself. But one can dream, right? We can, we, we can dream a little bit. And for you guys that like a little bit more information, it's also reported that the new model will have a cheaper but less flexible alternative to the type commonly used for higher-end smartphones. So it'll still be a pretty dope screen, but it's not going to be the exact ones that you see on the brand new Samsung devices. At the end of the day, don't freak out too much. I definitely wanted to make this video to cover this information so that you guys can see that I did indeed receive it. And honestly, I always get excited seeing information like this, especially when it blows up across the internet and everyone's talking about it. We've got to cover that content. We've got to see it. But as I said before, it's Nintendo Switch Pro, right? We've been hearing about this one for a while now. The reason why I still know that it is definitely going to come to pass is because the same thing happened with the Nintendo Switch Lite. Everybody was downing it and then boom, it dropped. And then obviously it makes sense for there to be an upgraded version of the Nintendo Switch sometime soon. Um, I wouldn't expect this one to be something insane. Think of it more of an upgrade from the regular Xbox to the Xbox Series S. Little bits of upgrades here and there. I mean, it's still good stuff. 4K display, you know, you can look at all your games in that fresh new uh, display on the, on the device, which is exciting. We also get to save battery in the process. I mean, bigger screen. I mean, it's a W in my opinion at the end of the day. And either way, I will still end up buying this device if it does drop. But just don't get too excited because you know how it goes. We'll hear new news. All of a sudden, it'll go dead silent for a few months. And then boom, oh my goodness, it's coming out once again. Don't get too excited, but be ready because I think that this time is legit.
So there's only five more days before the release of Apex Legends on the Nintendo Switch and you guys will start to see a lot more content here on the channel. I still play Fortnite casually, but I'm looking for that grindy, grindy game and I think Apex is it. We're going to try our best to become the best Apex player here on the Nintendo Switch. In the comment section down below, let me know how you feel about this brand new information on the Nintendo Switch Pro. If you guys are excited about it, if you guys are happy, I mean I know I always get happy off this kind of stuff, but hey, that's just the way it goes. Either way though, hope you guys are all having a great time, staying safe. I'll catch you in the next one.